Welcome back to Team Fast Eddie and BajaPlanet.com. Today we're going to take a look at a really unique product put out by ATX. And they are a rock and mud shield developed for the HPI Baja 5T. On the 5T, because the body is enclosed and it's a big body that goes over and the wheels are inside the body, we tend to get a lot of stuff thrown up into the chassis area. And the shields that he has... Uh, made will keep a majority of that from, from getting in on your, your air filter and your engine and whatnot. Uh, the rear shields combined with the front shields that he puts out are an excellent, excellent combination to uh, take care of, of most of the debris that does get inside your chassis when you're running in, in loose or muddy conditions. Let's take a look. When you get your package, it's going to contain two parts. We're going to have one half of the cover that has a, uh, a cutout for the pull start area and the second half of the cover which goes on the opposite side. We're going to quickly take a look at the mounting brackets and the hardware so that you can get them properly installed. If uh, They're not that difficult but it can be a little bit confusing when, when you first get the package if you haven't seen it ahead of time. The unit is, is actually an L shape and we're going to call this the outside of the unit and we're going to call this the, the inside of the unit. The front portion is going to be mounted to the cross brace of your, your rocker panels on the, uh, on the 5T and it uses this little clip right here. Let's take a look at the orientation of the clip and it's going to be on the inside of the L and if you take a look on, on how that's mounted up you can, you can see the direction that the clip goes in and that is important. You will uh, mount this later on during installation and we'll, we'll go over that with you. I just wanted to mount it up here so that you can see the proper orientation. Very simply going to uh, slip the clip over the bolt, stick that through and then put the nut and the washer on the back side. The other mounting option on this particular portion is going to be this unit right here and you're going to mount that from the inside to the outside. So you can see the orientation of it here. And very simply you're going to put a nut with a washer and a small piece of fuel tubing going to go ahead and slide that through then you're going to tighten down the lock nut and then slide a piece of fuel tubing that's all supplied in the kit and that's how it goes on just like that when you cinch down the lock nut on here you're not going to want to go too tight you're going to want to go just till it touches without compressing it, it too much it is very simple the second side you're going to repeat this process on the two pieces of hardware but there is a third piece that is on on this one and again we're going to mount the third piece right here which is a a screw along with a little spacer that goes in the screw mounts up into the spare hole in your fan cover so again this one's going to mount from the inside you're going to go ahead and stick your black screw through and then go ahead and press on the spacer from the outside to hold that on. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we have this mounted. I'm going to take the camera off the tripod so I don't get dizzy. I'm going to try to give you some close-ups here. Let me uh, get the camera adjusted. You can see the uh, how the guards mount up a little bit better right now. The two additional screws that you have in your kit that comes with the guards are longer bolts that go through the shocks and hold the shocks to the shock tower. You're going to replace the bolts that are in here from the factory with the longer units that come with your splash guards. And then once that is through you're going to press a piece of fuel tubing which is also included on. And what that does is it, it jams the rear of the splash guard so that it, it stays put. Um, 
I like the way that he uses the jamming method because it's just a lot less to take off if you ever want to remove the uh, the guards. Let's go ahead and check out the front mounting spot here. Let's see if we can find it here. There we go. You can see how it goes around that bracket right here. The bracket goes around the uh, the support and you can see how it bolts on. Let's see if we can get a look at it from the other side here. And hopefully that will help you get that mounted. As we come around to the back, the second set of hardware right here that we stuck through, basically it jams through so if we can find it here, it jams through the upright for the shock and again it just keeps it from going anywhere and it provides a, a nice solid mount so you're jammed in two spots here to keep the back from coming out very effective if you want to use an aftermarket rear brace on your shocks feel free to do so such as the turtle brace is a, is a great option and you will have to do just a little bit of of modifications with your roto tool to the poly in the back just so that it uh, gives room for your your different braces that you might want to use so don't be afraid to modify that if you have a uh, an aftermarket rear brace let's go ahead and take a look at the second side see if we can get this turned around the second side mounts on just the same in the front with the clip and in the back with the shock tower nut and this portion jams as well right through the shock tower brace just sits in there and we do have the center bolt on this unit and as you can see what it does is it goes through and it utilizes the spare empty hole that's on your fan case you're going to want to go ahead and use your allen wrench and screw that in and just until the spacer touches maybe a little bit tighter you don't want to over tighten it let see if I can find that again here there we go you don't want to over tighten it you just want to screw it in until you get just a little bit of pressure on that that standoff piece of rubber you don't want to over tighten it so again these are the ATX rock and splash guards for the HPI Baja 5T along with the rear splash guards he does have a set of front splash guards that you can watch our previous tutorial on um, they make a great pair and between them it's going to keep all the the garbage out of your chassis thank you for stopping by team fast eddie and baja planet if you haven't been to baja planet yet feel free to stop on by there's hundreds of reviews and tutorials and how to's as well as a great forum to get all of your questions answered. So again, thanks for stopping by Team Fast Eddie and Baja Planet.